Okay, so this is probably going to be one of the fastest tutorials you'll find out there. The reason being is because it's, this is also one of the easiest effects that you can do in pretty much any editing software that you use. Now, there are hundreds, probably not hundreds, but there are a lot of different ways of actually accomplishing this effect. Different styles, the most common effects that are used are some sort of distortion or, you know, a smoke puff, or in some cases, all of those combined. But the actual style of the teleportation effect itself is kind of up to interpretation and how you want the final effect to look. But in each different style, every single one has the same fundamentals. So to accomplish this effect, you're gonna need three different things. One is clean plate footage. This is just footage of the background without your subject. Two, you're gonna need your actual subject doing the action of disappearing and then walking out of frame. And then three, you're gonna need some sort of VFX asset if that's the route you wanna use. So as you can see, my clean plate footage is actually moving. And what that does is make the shot a little bit more dynamic. But in doing so, it makes it a little bit more tricky, but that's okay. So the very first step that we're gonna do is actually 3D track the scene. You could also just 2D track it if you wanted to, but if you filmed on a tripod, then you can skip this step entirely. Okay, so while this is 3D tracking, then I'm gonna go ahead and rotoscope out my subject. You're gonna go up here, click the rotoscoping tool, and then select your subject. Once you have it looking the way you want, you're just going to hit this freeze button and let it load. Once it's done, I usually will go ahead and just render out that clip. You wanna make sure you go over here, change this to QuickTime, and then make sure that this option is on so that the background is completely removed. Okay, so once we have that, we're gonna bring it back into After Effects. Looks like the 3D tracking is done, so I'm gonna select the point where my side effects should be, right-click this, and I'm gonna create a null and camera. I'm, I'm gonna make sure the 3D on my subject layer is turned on so that I can move it in. I'm gonna copy the position information of the null and then paste it to my subject. And there we go, step one is pretty much complete. So step two is now going to the point where the teleportation actually happens. Now you have a few options of what you can do. One, you can just make a simple cut where the where your subject just disappears with no effect. Um, and I've seen movies do this and it looks pretty cool. And that would look something like this. But if you want to make it a little bit more dynamic and add more detail to, to it, what we can do is you, you're gonna make a new layer you're gonna add the effect fractal noise to it. You're then going to attach this alpha mat to this layer so that the subject only appears in the white sections of this fractal noise. And you could adjust this by moving this brightness up or down, and you can even play around with the contrast. And so to make the subject disappear, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the brightness up, hit this keyframe, and then go forward a few frames and then reduce the brightness so that you don't see your subject anymore. And there you go. You could stop right here and just, just with that, the effect is pretty much complete. But if you wanna go a step further, something that I did was I went ahead and added this energy smoke puff to make it a little bit more dynamic. And in my opinion, that just helps sell the effect a little bit more. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to make your subject reappear back in the scene, kind of what I did, all you do is follow the same steps, but just backwards. And again, there are a bunch of different ways that you can make this effect in your own per in your in your own personal style you could add flares you can add lightning you can you know, do, do whatever you want but as long as you have that foundation done it's it really is just that easy so i hope you were able to learn something new today like i said this is probably one of the fastest tutorials you'll you ever watched i'm sure there's faster ones out there if you like this video cool and if not that's okay too please don't subscribe i'm not trying to grow this channel at all so if you like it awesome uh, maybe drop a comment if you want but yeah don't subscribe um that's okay now if for whatever reason you are interested and in wanting to learn more video editing and vfx i do have an entire vfx course that um teaches people from their beginner level all the way to more advanced stuff um kind of showing you how i make my own effects and an all inside of after effects so if you want to check that out the link is down below and i will see you next time or not, you know, that's fine too.